my God. Welcome to another episode of Shorter is Better. Actually, so far, this is the first and only episode of Shorter is Better, where I prove once again that shorter is better. And I do this by quickly explaining a topic or a subject or answering a question so that anyone, even you, can understand it. These topics may be complicated, they may be simple, but they will all be short because I know that your time is very valuable. I make these videos so that you can better understand a topic or a subject so that then maybe you can share this knowledge. We can make a little train of knowledge, a knowledge train, so that next time you hear the term pulling a train, you'll think of this face. Good luck getting that out of your head. In recent weeks, I have reviewed several MERS radios. I've also reviewed dozens of hundreds of GMRS radios. But every time I review a MERS radio, in the comments, one of the YouTube experts, multiple YouTube experts, always leave a comment saying they should make, they being the radio manufacturers, should make a combination MERS ham GMRS radio so that I don't have to buy multiple radios and have carry around multiple blah, blah, blah. All of these experts every time point out that there is no reason why the manufacturers can't make a combination MERS GMRS ham radio. And of course, these YouTube experts, these YouTube certified comment experts are wrong. I usually delete those inaccurate, wrong comments because I don't like my channel to be used as a soapbox for stupidity. Don't you wish that more YouTubers would take control of their comment section and not allow stupidity and hatred and stupidity and misinformation and stupidity? We should make a movement. Well, guess what? The movement has started. The movement against stupidity. And I am the leader of that movement to make YouTube great again. My God. Tell all your favorite YouTubers to join the movement, take control of the comment section, and together we can make YouTube great again. My God. All right, so where was I before I got distracted with uh, leading YouTube back to greatness? Combination radios, GMRS, MERS, ham radios. The experts say there's no reason why we can't buy one of these. There's no reason why the manufacturers can't make and sell one of these. So I ask an actual expert. I ask the owner of buytwowayradios.com. They not only sell ham radios, GMRS radios, and MERS radios, but they have radios custom designed for them by Wuxin Ocean. So if anybody would know the rules about making radios and what you can and can't do, it would be him. And when I asked him, why can't you sell a combination ham, GMRS, MERS radio? He said this, and I quote, I would love to make a MERS GMRS radio, and it would be very simple to do. But unless the FCC changes their rules, it can't happen at least not legally. The MERS rules prohibit a transmitter being approved for MERS if it is capable of operating on any other service. Here is the FCC rule. FCC rules part 952761, MERS transmitter certification. A grant of equipment certification will not be issued for MERS transmitters capable of operating under both this subpart and any other subparts of this chapter except part 15. And so what that means is, in order for the FCC to certify a MERS radio under their MERS radio rules, that radio cannot be capable of transmitting on any other bands, basically. So the reason that you cannot buy a combination MERS ham GMRS radio is because the FCC will not allow it. If you have any questions, or if you disagree with the FCC rules, leave a comment below. But remember, my God.